satisfied with that result? Yes, obviously, you know, it keeps things in our hands. Uh, we said to the guys, our only target coming through the, the, the double header games was to make sure things were still in our hands, we, that we're still in the pool fighting, and, and that's certainly the case now. Um, I'm not going to say we we've taken charge of the pool because obviously, Purple, you know, very good side. Um, uh, but it is nice that we've got them at home. So, um, no, very interesting time for us. Uh, nice, nice few wins we've had on the on the bounce now going into Christmas. Uh, and I just said to the guys, and you know, I challenge you to follow that through into the Premiership now in a. You know, just over about nine days' time, um, and make sure you know we, we, we keep playing the, the kind of winning rugby that we are. You know, it's not always pretty, but uh, uh, we cranked up the pressure in the second half. I think it was cranking up the pressure in the second half that really told. I think we dealt with dealt with the, with the game when it became tight, far better than Dragons for, for whatever reasons, uh, and ultimately came away with a win. You know, pressure moments in the game, five metre scrums, bits and pieces. We, you know, we forced those pressure moments, and they told for us. And you, you did look up against it half time, trailing 16-6. Uh, what did you say at half time? Well, pri primarily that we felt, you know, that we hadn't quite, you know, we didn't need to chase the game. We hadn't really built up much pressure in the game. The game had been a little bit, a little bit fractured, uh, you know, which I think suited Dragons more than it suited us. Um, but ultimately, you know, the difference between the two sides in the first half was a, was a pretty much a breakaway try. And, uh, and as much as they count on the scoreboard in, in the run of the game, they don't, they don't count for much. And I think that's we managed just to put that to bed. You know, if that, you know, we're in possession in opposition 22, and we cough up a try. You know, well. You know, that sometimes happens. Uh, like I say, we put it to bed and we just talked about playing good territory, good possession game, just up in the heat in the set piece if we could, uh, and just and just staying strong. And you know, we kind of felt that if we did, you know, Newport would probably under more pressure to win the game than we were. You know, being at home, you know, that, that can create its own set of pressures, and we have to we have to try and make that count. The qualification really up for grabs now. One foot in the knockout stages, really. Yeah, but the reality is, um, you know, we, we challenged the boys before today's game that we, we did, although we didn't have to win, a win was massively important. If you look at how the other pools are going. Uh, you know, I think scraping through this pool makes it pretty tough. You're going to be away in the quarter final. Whereas if you can come through the pool pretty tough, uh, pretty strong, you can potentially get that home quarter final. And that's really what you have to try and get, you know, to be uh, going over to Stade Francais or something like that for an away quarter final is tough. Uh, if we can win our next two games, we can maybe uh, have a nice quarter final at home for, for our supporters and for the team as well. Uh, what about Ben White? Looked, uh, looked pretty serious injury. Yeah, he doesn't feel too bad at the minute. He's in a boot. Uh, it's his, uh, I think, it's his left ankle. Uh, obviously, we'll have to have it scanned uh, in the morning. Um, we'll assess it from there. I mean, he, he seems more comfortable now than he did initially. Uh, he got pinned in a, in a ruck and, and buckled backwards. But um, no, uh, hopefully, it's not too bad. I mean, you know, ultimately, the fact that they had to come off on a stretcher probably means he's, he's going to be out for a little while. Hopefully, it's, it's nothing more than that. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Yes,